A point nine four three six shot group in double action without a aiming point other than the heart and the spine on this from targets online with the house pin one fifty eight JHPs thirty eight special. All right, next reload. Let's show you this method. Let's see if it would really work or not. And actually, I think it's a good design. I think mine, the very last one, was just twisted. So I do hope I hear back from Aztec. They sell out within minutes. So. Open it up here. Hit it like I said before, keeping in the primary side. Figure, I think I'm in frame, I hope. Yep, trigger uh, trigger finger holds the cylinder. I can barely do it, but if you can, trigger finger holds the cylinder. Okay, now I'm coming to my rapid. It holds it flat, and that's really good for a lot of people that are skinnier than me that have trouble concealing speed loader holders. You whip it out, and it rotates itself. But you see I'm not rotated quite enough. That's the problem. I think this last link isn't in there quite the way it should. It's not keeping the spring quite the way it does on the guys uh, that has YouTube videos on the rapid loader. So I would literally run into this issue here, trying to jam them all in, and it's very uh, not sturdy, and it's kind of flexible, and I'm totally fighting with it. And oh, my God, if it was for my life. But okay, I got it in. Make sure I'm in frame. I got it in. And then you rip, and it rolls in there, and it looks super awesome. That'd be awesome in a movie. Uh, look at the position there. So I'm not saying no on this. I'm saying no on mine because I think this left one is a little canted, a little bent. I don't quite know which way to articulate it. I, I kind of did it this way and rolled it under, uh, but it's having a bit of issues. So that wasn't as long as I thought it would be with the rapid loader and uh, well, now I gotta pause. I am down range. Okay, going on the nice target on the right, that literally three sticker holes covered up all six shots. Let's see what I can do. I'll go, I'll try to go slow with the 158 Magnums from Hot Munitions. All right, I'm gonna remember to aim a little lower in the center of the heart and see if they hit where they were. Yowzers. It's got some recoil. I'm used to firing 125s in this. 158 Magnums, these seem pretty full power. Okay, and they do, they, it is hurting a little bit, my finger there. One, even the hot 125, 135, 145, all the stuff I filmed in my video a year ago with beauty, this is beast. The stainless ones, the shiny stainless one is beauty, this is beast. Uh, all good there. And nice extraction. Uh, so far, very impressed with House of Pain, though with the Magnums here. Is that just me recoil flinching, throwing them to the left? Because, again... Quite a few are acceptable. Two there in the heart, and then I'm drafting left. That's got to be a bad recoil anticipation issue. The 125s, the hot 125, 135, 145 ammo I did a year ago, or hot 125s and hot 145, wasn't that much of an issue. Hot, these seem full power to me, 158s. Uh, and look at my ballistics test with that. Are those all me or not, or is it the faster speed? I got to check more 357 ammo. Uh, out of this. We'll probably go back to the on target after that. But anyway, House of Pain uh, seems to be good ammo. I just got to make sure this barrel's good for the hot magnums.